Hello everyone, welcome to my lesson for Pins and My Needles by Silverchair. This is a revisit. I did this lesson years ago on an old channel I had and uh, the quality was pretty terrible. So I'm trying to update the, the lessons that I had on that channel and bring them to this channel. Um, hopefully the quality will be better and hopefully the lessons will be better. So, that being said, Pins and My Needles is in drop D tuning. So tune your guitar to drop D and we'll get started. So the song starts with the verse riff and it's pretty simple, it's only three chords. So I'll play it for you once. Uh, well, I'll play through the verse riff and then I'll show you how to do it. So that's the first part of the verse riff anyway. We'll get to the second part after this, but. So um, the first chord is gonna be D minor bar chord right here. It starts on the fifth fret of the A string. So you're gonna go five, seven, seven on the next two strings, six on the B string, and with the bar, you'll get five on the high E. So it should sound like this. be muting the low E hopefully with the tip of your first finger so you don't want that to ring out even though it will sound okay in this tuning so you play that first and you kind of you hit it then you mute it and hit it and mute it you'd be able to listen to the song and figure out exactly how to do it going to slide up to the 8th fret on the A string and you're going to bar the 10th fret with your 3rd finger. So 8, 10, 10, 10 like this. And that's the same strumming pattern as the first chord. So you start with the D minor. from there back to the D minor and then to the third chord which is going to be 10 on the A string, 12 on the D and G strings, 11 on the B string and 10 on the high E. Back to uh, the eighth fret and then back to the D minor. So those are the only three chords you need to know for the first part of the, the verse riff anyway. And I'll play it through again slowly. So after you play that pattern again, get to the second half of the verse riff, which goes like this. So that's, it's a, it's an A7 chord, which is going to be um, second fret of the D string and second fret of the B string. Leave the G string open and mute the low E string. So it should sound like this. And you're basically going to take that shape and just keep sliding it up. So it starts on the 2nd fret, slide it up to the 3rd fret, slide it up to the 5th fret, and then you're going to slide it up to the 7th fret on the A string, but go to the 6th fret on the B string. So all together slowly.
Okay, so that's the second half of the verse riff. Then that whole section um, repeats again. Only when you get to the end of this, start to repeat it again. But instead of going from the fifth fret to the seventh fret with the six on the B string, you're going to go from the fifth fret to the eighth fret on both strings. So that's right before the uh, pre-chorus. So the second uh, repeat of the verse riff will sound like this. All right, so then the pre-chorus comes in and that's Pretty simple as well, it's just two chords this time. I'm going to start with the B minor, which is 2nd fret on the A string, 4 on the D and G, 3 on the B, and 2 on the high E, and mute the low E. So it should be like this. And you're going to play that with the same pattern as the uh, verse riff. And then the next chord is an open D chord. So 2nd uh, fret uh, G string, 3rd fret B string, 2nd fret high E. And this time you can include all the strings because we're in a drop D tuning. And you go back and forth between those two chords. So it should sound like this. where the heavy distorted guitar comes in. So I'll switch to that. Okay, so right after that pre-chorus, you're gonna get into the heavy part, which, if you remember, it's gonna be the B minor to the D. So after that, you're gonna switch on your distortion and you're gonna sound like this. You're going to go to the 3rd fret, bar it on the low E, A, and D strings, go to the 5th fret on the G string, and the 6th fret on the B string. So you're going to hit that three times, slide that whole shape up to the 7th fret. the low, low open strings three times and then play the open D chord once again and then after the chorus there's just going to be a small addition which sounds like this Together that, you're just going to do um, one finger power chords on the low three strings. So you're going to start with one, slide up to four, open, and then one again, two, and seven. Open mutes, and then you're going to play harmonics on the seventh fret. So, uh, lightly touch the 7th fret right above the fret, or lightly touch the strings right above the 7th fret, go high E, B, G, B, G, D, and then open low E string. So all together slowly, you should have this. And yeah, 
yeah, sometimes the high E harmonic doesn't quite come out the way you want it to, but it's tricky, so make sure you practice that. So really guys, that's pretty much it for the song. I know through the verses you can hear a clean electric guitar playing arpeggiated notes over the acoustic, but really all you have to do for that, if you want to do it at all, is just uh, play the same chords as the acoustic, just pick them out with a clean electric. That's all you got to do. And other than that, the only difference is the last chorus repeats a couple of times, so it's like, um, I mean, not just this part. That repeats a few times, the last chorus, but this part also repeats a couple of times. So you just keep doing that, and then the harmonic part also repeats once, so it'll sound like this. And then the song ends. So that's it for Pins and My Needles, guys. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Let me know uh, in the comments what you thought of the lesson. I appreciate it. And thanks as always for watching. So I'll see you next time and take it easy.